every time we go to the bathroom, we are flushing away information about our behavior and about our health. What happens if we look at the microbiome of a city, of, to our collective gut? A seemingly simple question and a devastating epidemic led Matus and co-founder Nusha Gailey to launch their biotech startup. Biobot Analytics is combining science and technology to help communities combat the opioid epidemic. Their robotic device scours sewers for information that cities can use. The way Biobot's team sees it, sewers are the underbelly of modern metropolises, rural and urban, and are a treasure trove of untapped data. What we do is we analyze city sewage to estimate opioid consumption. What makes this so unique is that it's one of the very, very few smart cities solutions that's really touching on something very, very fundamental, something that actually can change the quality of city life for good and for, for people and for residents. So that just floats down in the water there to make sure we get a good sample. Just plug this guy in. And then down the hole she goes. With more biotech brands finding their start in Cambridge, Biobot has been able to lean on fellow startups like Nest Bio Labs and Start Something for help developing and fine-tuning their prototype. Basically, Start is um, you know, a very tough box that's uh, very rugged, so it's waterproof and whatnot. A series of pumps, filters, and sensors inside the box grab the wastewater samples they need, which are then sent off to the lab for testing. In our process here that we developed for Biobot, um, we're actually, in some sense, purifying the water, but we're designing it to actually only take um, the opioids out so we have a nice um, spectrum of what, what drugs may be, may be in the sewer. The city of Cambridge has given Biobot a green light to conduct practice runs deploying their device in search of sewage samples. We can go ahead and pull it up and uh, disconnect it and see what we got. According to the U.S. Surgeon General, 115 Americans are dying from drug overdoses each day. Biobot's pitch to cities is that if sifted well, wastewater can help them get ahead of crises. With Biobot's device, cities can measure the health of their communities and tackle issues such as opioids more effectively. This data could be useful to help any community assess the epidemic locally, understand within the city where they should be directing resources, educational programming, and then in the long term, use this to continuously monitor the efficacy of their response. So with the data they're compiling, how granular can they really get? We first uh, start by um, defining these sub-areas of a city that we're going to be looking at, and we define them such that they always represent at least 5,000 people. The value of this data is for it to be a quick way to assess the health of many people together. Matus also pointed out the samples they collect from sewers are already all mixed up, meaning private matters naturally remain anonymous. The startup inked its first official partnership with Cary, North Carolina to begin pilot testing their device and has gotten nearly two dozen other requests from cities wanting to team up. Biobot was also accepted into Y Combinator, the selective Silicon Valley seed accelerator behind Airbnb, Dropbox, and Instacart. To look ahead, Biobot is looking behind. Matus's childhood inspired the idea to possibly take their tech to areas in the developing world where epidemics are common. I grew up in a very arid region in Mexico where we didn't receive drinking water at home anymore. It was distributed through pipe trucks. I always had been very fascinated and passionate about combining that world of water and wastewater with the potential of biology as a tool. And to me, this is a great way to give wastewater a new use. 